test project can be easily integrated into your existing CI CD flows by using either our fully RESTful API or our available plugins. To use both of these, you'll need to set up and use your own test project agent. You can set up an agent locally, or you can set up multiple agents on Docker's for parallel execution. You can also utilize the test project virtual agent to execute on cloud devices and browsers in parallel. By using the test project agent as part of your CI flow, you'll receive the benefits of automatically generated reports for you on the test project platform and the ease of management and setup for your automated tests, since all the heavy lifting is done by the agent for you. Let's review two modes of integration with test project inside your CI CD flow. The first one would be using our Jenkins plugin. To install the Jenkins plugin, simply head to Manage Jenkins and Manage Plugins. There, go to the Available section and search for Test Project. Just select the plugin and hit Install without restart. Once we're done installing the plugin, we'll need to configure it. To configure it, just choose Manage Jenkins and head to Configure System. Locate the Test Project section and paste in your API key we discussed before. You can hit Save or you can tick the Verbose option to receive more detailed reports in your Builds console output. Once you're done configuring the plugin, we can start using it in our pipelines. Let's start by creating a freestyle project. Inside the project, add a new build step. Inside, you'll notice more actions from the test project plugin. Let's select the Run Test Project Job Build step. Since you configured the plugin with your API key, you'll get a drop down of all projects which your API key has access to. Then, you'll see all the jobs inside those projects. You can also override the default agent what job is set to run with. The wait to finish parameter can be used to specify how long you're willing to wait for a test project job to finish before you fail the build. If you set it to zero, the build will continue without waiting for the test project job. You can also set the path to a JUnit XML report if you're using the JUnit plugin and specify execution parameters like you can with the test project API. Once we run the build, the test project job will start executing. You can also use the test project plugin inside your pipeline syntax. Let's create a simple pipeline that will use the test project plugin to run a job.
If you're not sure what's the correct pipeline syntax for the test project plugin, you can just click on pipeline syntax below and select the test project command, tp run job, and then select from the drop downs the project, job, the optional agent ID, the wait to finish parameter, and the optional execution parameters. After running our build, we'll be able to head to the console output and find the link to the test project report. The second way to integrate test project inside our existing CI CD pipelines would be either to use the test project Docker agent or the test project RESTful API. In this example, we'll be going through integrating test project inside GitHub Actions. First, let's start by creating a new repository. Inside my repository, I'll commit a YAML file that will create a Docker test project agent and execute a single job using it. To find more details on how to use the test project Docker agent, you can visit our Docker Hub page. We'll be using the example YAML file from here and making our own changes. This YAML file requires my test project API key and the job ID I'd like to execute. We can also override the job parameters from here. This YAML file will create an agent, register it, execute the job, then remove itself dynamically. To get an API key, simply head to the test project platform, go to the API section, and create an API key. First, let's give it a name. Then, we can choose if we can make this key unrestricted or restricted. If it's restricted, it'll have access to only specific projects, but if it's unrestricted, it'll have access to everything in your test project account. So let's make it unrestricted, then copy the key. Next, we'll need a job ID. So let's head into our project and copy the job ID from there. Once we're in the project, let's go to our selected job, press the More option, and copy the ID from here, and paste it back into our YAML file. My job is set to run on Chrome, but what if I'd like to override it dynamically to run on Firefox? For that, I can use execution parameters inside my YAML file. From here, we can override parameters and parameters within the test itself. So let's override the browser to be Firefox only. Let's remove Chrome and all the other unnecessary parameters. and save the file. Before we continue, it's also worth mentioning that the volumes parameter here 
is use the map between a folder and where the agent is going to store its logs. If we don't want to store the logs, we can just delete this. Now that we finish our YAML file, let's commit it to our GitHub repository and then create a workflow. Let's upload an existing file and then choose our YAML file. Now let's create our workflow. Let's head into Actions and then set up this workflow. Let's rename this. From here, I can choose what's going to run as part of this pipeline. So instead of running this echo command, let's set up and run our Docker container. Rename this to anything you'd like. Let's choose run test project job. Here, we'll use a Docker command that will spin up our container as specified in the YAML file. If you'd like to execute multiple jobs in parallel, you can spin up as many containers as you'd like, each one of them containing an agent and executing a different job. Once we're done setting our workflow, we can commit it to start the execution. As you can see, it's currently starting and building. As we can see, both the Chrome and Firefox images have been pulled. And now the test project agent is being pulled. Once the agent finishes execution, we'll be able to find a report on the test project platform. Our build has finished successfully. Now we can head over to the test project platform and view our execution report. Here we can see that our test was indeed executed on Firefox and all the steps in our test. We can also see that the agent has dynamically been registered based on the randomly generated name. And we can see that it was triggered by API, meaning from GitHub Actions. As mentioned earlier, you can also use the Test Project RESTful API as part of your CI CD pipeline. To view our RESTful API, you can simply head over to the Integrations, API, and API Documentation. From here, you can find all the endpoints you can use. You can use these, for example, as part of your pipeline to retrieve test results in either XML or JSON format, retrieve information about all the available agents, etc. You can view any endpoint and see its required parameters and information. You can even try them from the UI itself.